All right, David Harry here. Now in this video, I'm gonna do probably something which is half unboxing sort of, but it's mostly a close up look and it is of this, which is the Blackmagic Decklink Quad HDMI recorder. So what it is, this is the box. I'll just show you the sides and stuff. It's not very exciting at all. However, on the rear of the box, there's a fair bit of information, which is something that I want to go over. So there's the back of the box there. We will get to that shortly. And here is the card itself. So what I'm gonna do here is just show you the card quickly, but then go over the specifications and the reason why I've got it. So as you can see here, it has got four HDMI sockets on here, but what it is, all four of these are HDMI inputs. So very importantly, there's no outputs on this card. So it's usefulness could be a little bit limited to some people. However, if you're doing some particular stuff such as like OBS with multi cameras or any other similar type of software that could utilize like multiple video inputs via HDMI, then this can do four of them. Like I say, the card is kind of like what it is. It is a little limited if you look at it in a certain way because there's no outputs on it. However, it has got some great functions to do with the bit depth, the resolution and the frame rates. So let me get onto that. So what we're looking at right now then is the back of the box and this has got a whole bunch of information on. Now I'm gonna talk very specifically about some limited information on the back of here as to why this card is mega useful to me personally. However, there are other bits of information in there that you may want to pause the video for and just kind of go through it at your own leisure. There's things there which are gonna tell us that this is a Gen 3 PCIe device which uses eight lanes. It can also capture HDMI 2.0B and stuff other things like that. However, the thing that I'm mostly interested in here is the ability to capture in 10-bit 422 4K up to 60 frames per second or 59.94 frames per second. The card itself will actually go up to 12-bit and do RGB at certain resolutions and frame rates. But for me personally, 4K UHD 10-bit uncompressed 422 is what I can record. Now what that basically means is, is that when I record my stuff like that, say my gameplay stuff, I am basically getting the absolute best possible quality going into my editing system. And then once I get to the end of my editing process all done completely uncompressed, I then just output a master, which is H.264 at 10-bit 422, and that will also be up to 4K and up to 60 frames per second. So that is the only one time that I will use a compressed format for my uploads to YouTube, and it does make a difference now, if you're interested in seeing an example of such a workflow, just to see the benefits of doing that for ultimate best possible picture quality on YouTube, there will be a link on the screen right now and also a link in the, the description taking you to a video that I've got on my gaming channel, which was done exactly that way. In the description for that particular video, there will also be other information to do with the workflow and stuff. Anyways, what I'm going to do from here on in is do a bunch of stuff with this card and a couple of others to do with OBS, my YouTube workflows, things to do with video compression and such. Anyways, that should do it for this video. So if you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel, getting all of that bell notification icon in the process. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.